Right then guys, hello. Welcome back to the Golf Monday YouTube channel. Today, yeah, bit of a different venue because you're joining me in King's Golf Studio in East Grinstead, perhaps Golf Nirvana, one of the best places I've ever been to, but we're gonna test out Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls. Now, this is our first episode in the partnership with Callaway, and we're gonna put these Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls to the test. First of all, let's just talk a little bit about the Chrome Soft brand, because it's not just one golf ball. You've got Chrome Soft X LS, Chrome Soft X, and Chrome Soft. These are three unbelievable golf balls, and there's one that's correct for everyone. But one of the most important things about this premium golf ball is its price. So the RRP of the Callaway Chrome Softs is $39.99. This is the most premium golf ball that Callaway offer. If we do it to their competitors, such as Titleist, the RRP of those is $49.99. Now I know you can get both golf balls a little bit cheaper, about two or three pounds cheaper, but that's a good 20% cheaper of this Callaway Chrome Soft. Now why is this? Is this golf ball worse? Well, I don't think so. And we're gonna find out today, because I'm gonna hit the Titleist Pro V1, the 2021 version, and I'm also going to hit the Callaway Chrome Soft XLS, the golf ball that is correct for my game. This will be a really interesting test because I'm going to hit a six iron and I'm going to hit a driver and just see the overall distance and the results that I get. Chrome Soft is extremely underrated. But we're going to find out how underrated it really is right now. Let's hit some six irons with both golf balls and see what results I get. Very nice shot, that. Right guys, so that is it for the testing with the six iron. Some very interesting results, actually. I thought they would be pretty much exactly the same, but the main difference is the variation in spin rate. So let's talk about the Chrome Soft XLS. Let's put the data up on the screen for you now so you can see the spin rate, the distance, carry, and the total distance. You can see very, very good numbers there. I'm using a Ping i59 six iron, and it went a long way, and the spin rate at about 5,600 as an average, very good. I like it a little bit lower than 6,000 just because I do 10 as my badge. I'll just spin it a little bit too high. So they are perfect numbers for me. But the main important thing here that I want to mention is that a variation in spin for wherever I hit it out of the middle, out of the toe, out of the heel was only varying by about two to 300 RPM. It just hit 6,000 RPM on one shot and it fell to about 5,300 RPM on another shot. So a pretty tight variation there in RPM, which means that it's a very consistent golf ball, and that means it could be used by a variation of golfers. It doesn't have to be used by someone who's off scratch, it can be used by anyone from scratch to 54. Now comparing that to the Titleist Pro V1, the lower spinning model from Titleist, you've got the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X. The Pro V1 is a good golf ball. Put the data up to the screen for you now, as you can see, very similar numbers, just slightly higher spin at about 5,800 RPM. But the main difference here is that variation in RPM when I'm hitting out of the middle and out of the toe, out of the heel, was a lot larger. I went from about 6,500 RPM, 6,000 6, RPM to 5,000 RPM with the Pro V1. So about 1,500 variants. It's not that bad if I'm doing a direct comparison to a golf ball that is cheaper. Well, the, the Chrome Soft XLS performed better. Although it is very close with the price and also with that variation in spin rate, the Chrome Soft is a very strong competitor to the Pro V1 and other golf balls that are a lot more expensive. But how will it get on with the driver? Let's find out now. I'm gonna hit my Callaway driver and see how it performs to the Titleist Pro V1. good yeah that's a good shot right, so again some very interesting results with driver i was hitting it as i mentioned a little bit slower than usual it's it's quite hot in here and i just got a little bit tired so my club head speed dipped from about 120 to about 117 to 115 for both golf balls but the most interesting thing similar to the iron testing was the variation with spin rate because i hit some good shots and i also hit some bad shots which i think is needed for this testing with the Chrome Soft X LS, I've actually never had a golf ball stay so consistent in terms of the spin rate. If you guys don't know what RPM is, rates per minute, with driver, you wanna get it between, very simple, between 2000 and 3000 RPM. You wanna get around 2200 to 2500, depending on your launch angle. And that's actually exactly what I was getting with the Chrome Soft X LS. Anywhere between 2200 and my highest was 2700. Now the Titleist Pro V1, 
Again, a very good golf ball, but I hit some bad shots with it. And my big miss with my driver is quite a high spinning one to the right. Unfortunately, with the Pro V1, when I did that, as you can see right behind me, although it's not actually that far to the right, it was spinning at about 3,300 RPM, which for a driver, for anyone hitting a driver with a, with a club head speed of 118 miles an hour, that is too much. Nevertheless, they are two very good golf balls, but if we're trying to factor in every facet of these golf balls, the Chrome Soft brand is, for me, is a lot stronger. And that is because the price being significantly cheaper per dozen and that consistent flight, consistent results means that it's gonna have a different type of golf ball will be right for everyone's game. From the Chrome Soft XLS to the Chrome Soft, there's gonna be one that's gonna be right for your game. Now, let's dive deep into the tech behind Callaway Chrome Softs because it's been around for a while, but they've really improved it over the last few years. So let's now talk to Jason from R&D in Callaway over in the States to talk about all things Chrome Soft and how they've improved it so much in the last few years. So Jason, talk to me about the Chrome Soft golf ball. How, how has this golf ball changed and improved over the last few years? Because I feel like we've seen it really come to the top of the golf ball industry ladder, especially in the last year or so. Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the Chrome Soft family for us has become a, a really big part of you know, the, the momentum or, or growth we've seen in the golf ball category. And, and really we've done that through ensuring that we have a Chrome soft model for every type of golfer there is. And, and really, you know, we've, I would say that from the, where we started with Chrome soft to where we are today um, has really been rooted in the golfer and what, can we deliver to, um, you know, delivering on the needs of that golfer? So the the Chrome Soft or the Red Box, as we call it, in many cases, um, you know, really covers a, a pretty broad uh, stroke uh, at golfers and and thinks about what 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 is that golfer looking for? Right, they're looking for more distance. They're looking for an incredibly soft feel. Um, and, and that was where this, this golf ball started. And I would say over the last couple of years, um, we've really focused in and honed in on uh, the improvements to the consistency of that product. Um, and, and I say consistency and not only in what we're producing, but the consistency that it delivers to the golfer as well. So making sure that anything that we're providing at the product is not only making it perform better from a distance perspective and field perspective, but in the, the ability for the golfer to hit more consistent shots more often, because that's what's really going to, again, if you're, if you're rooted in the performance of the golfer, the consistency of their performance, along with the performance that you're delivering is super important. And then as you move that into the other you know, what we would call the X model. So Chrome Soft X, Chrome Soft XLS, making sure that we have uh, not only differentiated products and products that are differentiated from each other, but are delivering a performance benefit to the golfer within that segment of, of play. So um, the Chrome Soft X is going to be kind of the most uh, workable version of any of our Chrome Soft models, uh, where the Chrome Soft XLS is going to continue to provide some of those distance benefits for the players that, that may spin it a little bit too much uh, on their full shots, but then want that spin maximum spin and control around the green, which everybody does, right? Yep. So how do you balance that maximizing the performance on the full shots, but still provide all the benefits that golfers are looking for around the green as well. Yeah. I like how you mentioned is the Chrome Soft is more of a brand rather than one golf ball. And that's because there are so many options available for, yep. you know, for, for us now. Um, how would you suggest someone, I guess, self-diagnoses himself for that particular golf ball? Would you say it's more of a, okay, I'm going to try out the LS and then see if that compares to the Chrome Soft X, or is it more of you have a look online, do a bit of research and see which one is right for your game? Yeah, I would say, you know, we're, we're definitely providing more, you know, some would call it fitting, um, particularly online, I would say 
we're, we're doing all that we can to aid the golfer in the selection uh, of those products and the right place to start. So certainly there's um, uh, a lot of that on our website for sure um, to, to really aid the golfer in where's the right place to start your journey, right? And, and making sure that the best way that you're gonna find the right golf ball for your game is to get out on the golf course and play it. Um, you know, you can, I would say golf ball is a little bit different from some of the other categories where you can jump on a launch monitor and pretty quickly identify at least the, the right couple options for, for yourself. With golf ball, it will help in that area, getting on a launch monitor or going into a fitting bay. But ultimately at the end of the day, you're gonna find the best golf ball for your game in how it performs on the golf course, right? Yeah. Because you know what, what I always try to use the example of with golfers is you can get in a hitting bay and hit uh, uh, five or six different golf balls and you may get very similar results. But so much of the benefit of golf balls comes in the aerodynamics as well, which you will never see in that hitting bay environment. You will only see when you're actually out on the golf course. And what's also very important is those little shots around the green um, where some golfers, you know, particularly, you know, one of the, the default questions is always, well, I'm a X handicap. What golf ball should I play? Well, are you an X handicap because you're a good iron player or because you're a good driver or because you're a good putter? So you can get to a different answer with, with those kind of questions, right? Um, so I, I think, you know, always get out on the golf course is the best way to ultimately figure it out. But, but knowing where to start and we're providing those tools on, online for sure. Couldn't agree more. On course testing beats absolutely anything else. I yep. couldn't agree more there. Um, the most recent uh, Chrome Soft release for, for all options has seemed to be very successful, especially on tour as well. And we've had a few a few major wins. Um, what can you tell me about the the tour level response for this newest release in 2021? Yeah, I would say you know the this year we've we've had better. Uh, results on tour than we ever have before. We have two majors on the men's PGA tour with with Phil Mickelson and John Rahm both playing and winning majors this year with the ChromeSoft X golf ball, the same one that, you know, anybody can go out and buy at retail. Um, and Phil playing the triple track version and John Rahm not playing the triple track version, right? So um, a lot of success there. And with our ChromeSoft X LS golf ball, where Xander Shoffley has switched into that golf ball this year, uh, Mark Leishman has switched into that golf ball, many others. Um, so really, you know, I think it's been a, a pretty strong testament to what we're doing in the category um, when, you know, the, the tour players are playing the ball, the same balls that anybody can buy at retail as well. Yeah, exactly. I love that Phil and Ram have really solidified how positive of a golf ball this is. As you said, you can buy it at retail and also you can buy it at retail for a very good price as well in, in comparison to others. Yeah. With such a successful period for the Chromesoft golf ball, what, what are the plans for the future? How can you guys build on this and make it even better than it is? Because it, it, from a consumer point of view, I'm looking at it thinking that it, it ticks all the boxes really and it's got yeah. tall proven credentials as well. What, what, what are your guys' plans for the future with, with this Chrome Soft brand? Yeah, I think, you know, we'll, we'll continue to, to build on it. And, you know, again, it's, it's rooted in the, the golfer and the performance of, of golfers. So, um, you know, we're, we're definitely looking at how do we ensure that we're making, you know, our, our goal is to make the highest performing, highest quality golf ball of anyone in the world. And we think we'll, we'll do very well if we do that. And uh, so that there's a lot of work being done in that area. Um, certainly a lot of testing with uh, tour players, um, particularly in the, the X and XLS models. Um, and then everyday golfers on the, the red Chrome Soft, right? So um, how do you deliver more distance, more ball speed at the highest quality, the highest performance that we can uh, in areas of aerodynamics? You know, our hex aerodynamics are you know, truly differentiated in the marketplace and provide a pretty strong advantage 
we hear all the time from, you know, golfers at the, the I'll call it the, the highest levels in the world, the, the John Roms, the Phil Mickelson's of how much our hex aerodynamics really help and support their game um, all the way down to every good day golfers, right? So uh, how much more consistently our ball flies through the air as a result of those hex aerodynamics. So all those things are, are areas that we're going to continue to, to build on and continue to, to maximize and optimize as much as we can. So guys, that is it for this video featuring the Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls. As you can see, here at Golf Magic, we're a big fan. I'm sure you guys watching this video right now will be too. As I've said, there is a golf ball that is right for everyone. So go take a look which one could be right for you. Is it the Chrome Soft XLS, the Chrome Soft X, or the Chrome Soft? Let us know down in the comments. This is episode one of our Chrome Soft series, and episode two may be our most exciting video ever. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but it may feature a hole-in-one. Stay tuned. If you guys have enjoyed this video today, leave a like down below and let me know what you think about the Callaway Chrome Softs. Do you use them as your everyday golf ball? Do you use them with triple track technology? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys are new to the Golf Magic YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos from golf challenges, golf videos, golf reviews, you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.